Well, welcome back on board. Uh, this is a uh, one of a series of videos up through uh, the Barossa Valley and uh, taking into Nunda Lindock and then continuing over to Nuriupta uh, and then the back way through to Kapunda and then eventually going up to Burra. I'll cover off on the uh, Kapunda to Burra uh, in a, yeah, another video blog uh, but today as I said we took off this bit of footage picks us up coming out of Gawler heading to Tanunda. Another one of those uh, great little South Australian spots to uh, cruise through. You can make a whole day of going around through the Barossa. There's just so many really good roads, scenery, wineries, uh, cafes, hotels. Um, well worth stopping at the information centre and having a bit of a look. After a uh, quick stop in Lingdog at the bakery and a great cup of coffee and a uh, pasty, uh, we both headed off uh, over towards Tanunda, which is the next town. Uh, Tanunda is another great place to stop and have a look around the town itself. All around that area, whether you turn left or right, will take you out into the vineyards. Turning right takes you out through Chateau Tanunda, and there's a back road, uh, Mangles Hill Road, up over to, uh, towards Angerston. Tanunda is one of those uh, great towns, a lot of history there, goes right back to the early German settlement and uh, well worth a look around. I spent a bit of time, I went up to uh, the lookout at uh, Manglers Hill and the sculpture park that's up there, gives a great view out over the Barossa Valley itself. Um, I headed back around through Bethany and then uh, eventually back through uh, Tanunda. I went out to Marananga and to Sepplesfield. Uh, the Sepples Hill Winery itself has got so many things going on there these days. You can spend a half a day there just looking through the various art galleries. There's a knife maker, uh, a couple of really good uh, restaurants. And uh, from there I just uh, headed off back towards uh, Newry and uh, was eventually making my way over to Kapunda. After leaving the uh, sculpture park at Manglers Hill, I broke out uh, my new toy, the Skydo drone, and uh, gave that a little bit of a fly coming back in towards uh, the Barossa Valley. There's also a little bit of footage uh, on the other side out towards Sepplesfield at Marananga. Um, it was a fairly windy day, so I had to sort of pick my spots where I got it up, and also uh, I'm still on a bit of a learning curve. Uh, with the drone but as you can see it's a uh, fully autonomous drone and uh, will uh, stick in behind me, fly wherever I go, I can drone it, put it out over to one side in a 360 configuration so all in all it was a great day uh, to have a bit of a play with a new toy and uh, as I said uh, I'll probably put a bit more drone footage into a few more of the video blogs as uh, I get a little bit better at it.
pick up a bit of footage uh, coming into uh, New York today. As I said, uh, been over this way many times before. New York is a fairly large town, probably the largest uh, one in the Parossa Valley. From here we pretty well went straight through onto the main uh, highway which takes you up to the Riverland. From Newry we turned right, went out on that Riverland Road, a few k's out there's a signposted road that takes you the back way through to Kapunda. As I said there's a bit of a mixed footage there from a bit of drone footage uh, around some of the vineyards and uh, as I said you can spend a whole day in the Barossa uh, just checking out the wineries and some of the fantastic roads through in that area. After a quick cup of coffee, uh, we took our time having a look around Kapunda. If you've not been there before, get off the main street after you've had a good look around and cruise around at some of the beautiful houses, churches, halls, and the architecture of the town itself. Awful lot of history in Kapunda, and probably one of South Australia's most wealthiest towns in its day. The two mining areas, of course, were Kapunda and Burra, the two largest and exceptionally uh, well-off towns uh, thanks to the copper mining in the area. Wallaroo Kadena was another area that did very well in South Australia's history as far as copper but with the uh, demand for gold and gold miners on the east coast of Australia, South Australia made uh, probably the first uh, major investment in immigration with Cornish and Welsh miners and this area is a uh, testament to how hard uh, those people worked when they arrived in the colony. As I said, the town itself is well worth a quick ride around, beautiful houses, and some of the properties there are a testament to the amount of wealth that was taken out of these copper mining towns in their day. Cruising up the main street heading back towards uh, Adelaide, um, we went up to a monument which as I said was uh, in honour of uh, the Cornish and Welsh miners that worked in these cop towns uh, in the early 1830s to uh, late 1800s. Um, this park we pulled into here, we just jumped off and stretched our legs, had a quick look. Uh, quite a lot of information in that, uh, in that parking bay with regards to the history on the mining and uh, uh, the other relevant industries that related to copper mining uh, in South Australia in the day. After cruising back towards town we went over to the old digging sites. There's quite a bit uh, of information there and it's well worth a walk uh, and a quick look around. After looking around Kapunda, we headed back onto the main road and uh, headed over towards Yudunda. We turned left there and took the World's End Highway Road, which takes you out through Robertstown and brings you in at the top end of the borough. That was our ride for the day. We stayed overnight in uh, Borough and uh, 
on the next video blog we'll cover off on uh, Burrow and his history, uh, a little bit about the copper mining in that area and uh, some of the stuff on our return trip. Thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to uh, catching up with you on the road somewhere in the near future. Cheerio.